hey 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 everyone welcome and welcome back today i am going to show you guys my finished pages for october um i know i said i would do this like every couple months but i actually have a decent amount to show you so i thought i can go ahead and show you what i did for october so in the first book I'm going to show you is Symphony of Cute Animals. And this is one of the books that I want to finish. Like completely finish from page to page if possible. Or at least get quite a bit done in here. Um, I keep knocking the, ca the camera. I'm trying to get comfortable in my chair. It's, it's really cold today. Well, not really cold, but it's cold. It's colder than it's been and it's extra windy so that whooshing sound you hear in the background that's the wind so I have finished for October do I have anything in front of this one no this cute there's a weird hang on can I fix this glare no okay I did the little pumpkin with the cats inside and in this book, I'm mostly what I'm doing is I'm basing it in Albert Dewar's and then I'm going over it with um, color pencil, usually Holbein. So I did that and I added some gold and some silver, uh, gel pen, uniball gel pen. And I also used... Um, the, what is it, the toy markers for Arteza. I use those in this book too. They work pretty good. And there's not a lot of, um, how do you say, streaking with, with them either. And then I did the Halloween page. This page was so fun to do. This was a buddy color with Jen. And her page came out so 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 cute and I don't know how to insert um you know like the side by side picture thing and my iPad is dead and it's charging and I can't show you Jen's but hers is so cute um she does have an Instagram uh I will put that in the bottom of the description if I can remember but same thing with this one I based it um with Albert Dewar's and I used Holbein's and markers and gel pens and everything that I can possibly use on this page. I used it. And I added like neon colors. So when I put on my blue lights in the room, um, the banner glows, the candles, anywhere you see neon, it'll glow when I turn off the, um, the lights. And then I added some... Nouveau drops and uh, stickles and also some metallic iridescent paint on the wings here. I threw everything at this page and it came out so cute. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I did in this book. This book I want to finish. So I got a lot of whips and things that you can see from that going on in that page and then i think i have two in here uh one of them i can't remember if i showed you or not so i'm gonna throw it in there because i can't remember but i did the page with the whale and i tried to stick to a color palette with this one i think it worked out perfectly and i used what did I use on this one? I know I used some toy markers, but I used, I think I used my Pablo's on this page and I added some gel pen. I try to add a little bit of glitter to, to my pages when and where I can because it makes them look so much more pretty. And then I did, I can't remember if I showed you guys this one or not, but I did the bento box as well just in case I didn't show you and I used different pencils on this one because I was kind of testing my pencils on this page 
So I used all of them, Holbein's, Pablo's, um, Polly's. I think my favorite to use in here is probably the um, Pablo's and the maybe the Polly's too. I mean, they all work beautifully, but my favorite probably would have to be the, the Pablo's. And now that I move that light, now it seems like it's too dark, but if I move it, it's gonna be a glare. Oh, it's not very sunny today. The sun is not out at all, so it's, and I added some metallics in there as well. And some black glitter gel pen on the, I couldn't tell if this was seaweed or a napkin or, I think it's the thing that they wrap the bentos in. That's what I think it is, but I added black gel pen to that, and I think this page turned out kind of cute, too. Every now and then, I like making bento boxes myself, but they don't look this pretty. So those are the only two that I did in that book. I need to put a counter for how many times I knocked the camera over. Okay. I have one in a million magical creatures. And that was this one. And this one, I kind of was just relaxing in front of the TV. So this one was mainly markers. And I did a little bit of shading, but not too much. Because I was just, you know, grabbing colors. And if they match, they match. If they didn't, they didn't. You can see this is like purple and blue. And just something I was doing. And then there's some gold. It's like a like a yellow oranges gold and then I added some stickles on that little happy pumpkin look at that smile so he got stickles and then around the ghost I don't know if you can see it or not but around the ghost there's like um some glitter as well and that's the only one I wanted to do this one too but I started seeing all these little things down here and I was like nope not doing it. Not this year. Maybe next year or maybe another day or something, but nope. Nope, nope. Next, I did one in, um, I'm horrible at reading kanji, but it's got something to do with Yerui's, um, sketchbook and going on a walk or a journey or something. Um, I did this one and I have to say the polychromos in this book is amazing so i probably will use my polys and only my polys throughout this whole book because now i'm scared to use um something else and then it doesn't look as pretty and i'll be upset so i just like the way they kind of gave me that watercolor kind of effect and i don't know like my pablos might be able to do it but now that I did it with this and I know that they're, it's absolutely beautiful with the polys, I probably won't use anything else in here. And then I added just a tiny bit of silver, like on his little um, bag latch there. And on the rings of his sketchbook, there are some there. But I don't know. I just like the way it turned out. And this little guy really turned out cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I tried to stick with limited colors here as well. So I think it turned out, I mean, I think it turned out great, but I don't know, maybe I didn't want to put a background. I just feel like maybe they could have, or I should have added like a road or something they were walking on, but it's really cute. I kind of want to finish this book too, eventually one day, but I'm going to take my time with it because some of those pages are extra detailed and I'm just trying to put it back over here in the bookshelf and it doesn't want to go back. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to show you my matchstick mouse. I can't remember if I showed you guys the pages I finished in here or not, but I know I did uh, finish the whip and I did one for sure in October, but I'm just going to go through. So this is what I've done, this page here. I can't remember if this one was done in um, September or October, but I was kind of going in order. And in here I'm using like water-based markers and alcohol markers, and I'm doing a little shading. And some of the pages have like sparkles and things like that. This one has some gel pen and some watercolor. 
metallic watercolor. This one I started and then skipped because I didn't feel like doing all those brown packages. But I'll get back to it. And then the cat. I finished the cat. This one I just did. I shaded the cat just a little bit in the grass. But other than that, it's just straight alcohol marker. Um, sometimes I get lazy. And sometimes it just looks nice with all alcohol marker. This one is alcohol marker as well. Nothing but. And I might keep it that way in this book because it doesn't really need to be shaded. So I'm not sure if I will shade it. I guess it just depends. And then I added some um, gel pen. And you probably can't tell, but it's two different colors because one of the colors decided to stop working right in the middle of me putting them down on paper naturally. So... I was like, gosh darn it. So I had to change it up, but it's not too different. It's just that the it starts like about here. And then this blue is like just a tad bit darker than this one. So that's as far as I got. I kind of want to finish this one too, but not obviously not this year because it's a lot of pages. And I don't know. We'll see. I have the um, Halloween one too, but I did absolutely nothing in that one. So uh, I wanted to, but just didn't get around to it. And then I did finish one of my whips that I had in here in Cute Witches by Jade Summer. This has been a whip for I don't know how long. I couldn't even tell you when I started it. But it's all alcohol marker. There's no shading. This one's already grayscale, so I probably won't bother um, shading this one. Shading the pictures I do in this book. But it's all alcohol marker. And I decided to make the milk strawberry milk. Don't give your cat strawberry milk. I don't know if it's safe. But I thought it would be cute if I made it strawberry milk. But, um, yeah, I just used my Copics and my, I think I have, what are these, Cali Arts? I'm trying to use these Cali Arts up because I'm, I want to get a different, uh, a different brand. I was looking into maybe the Blix or something like that because I don't. The Copics that I have, I'm happy with the colors that I have, and I'm not buying any more Copics. So, there's that. And I have, I think, how many do I have in here? One? I, didn't, I don't even think I marked it. I have so many pages marked with whips and things like that, and I have them all in the same spot. So, oof, Lord have mercy. Okay, so this one was a community buddy color with T in her community. And the challenge wants to use your ink tints. You can use other things, I think. But it was like you have to mainly use your ink tints um, pencils. And it was a challenge because I don't use them that much. So I was debating going over it with pencil. And I kept telling myself, oh, I'm going to go over it. But then I ended up changing my mind because I kind of like the vintage look that it gave when I was using my ink tints. And I mean, some of them I blended and some of them I just left, um, you know, single color. And then I added some gold, if you can see the gold rings going around it. I thought that was pretty cool. So I kind of like the way it turned out. So I didn't add any um, color pencil at all. It's just all ink tints, which was a shock to myself because I don't use them that much and definitely not on a whole page. So that was fun. And then lastly, is this lastly? Yeah, yep, okay. I did do one, completed one in Rooms of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And this one, let me find it. I have a lot of whips in here already, guys. Uh, I think I have like three or four of them. Where is it? Okay, here. I did the cake page, the cake mandala page. So, I tried to stick to a color palette with this one as well. And I don't know if you guys can, you probably can't, but I did like little flecks of um, the metallic in the background. You probably can't really see it. But I also added uh, Nouveau drops and stickles on the cake. 
icing as well. This one was a lot of fun. And I kind of want to do this page um, with some of those same colors. Not all the same colors because obviously the cakes are different. But I want to move these colors over here too and finish this so they can be like matching pages. I thought that would be cool. Whoa. Excuse me. That yawn came out of nowhere. But um, those are my finished pages for October. And so for November, might as well show you guys what I have. I have a, um, a hashtag that I'm doing in, for November. It's Nick in November. And you can use you can color in any um book by nick filbert and you can use any material um if you'd like to do one of the pages with me that i have picked out that i'm going to show you the pages that i might or might not get around to so this book i picked out two i haven't colored anything in this book yet um but i i kind of want to do this one this is uh, number 46 in chapter 2. It's the adventure page. And then I also picked out this page. It's also chapter 2. This is number 60, culture. Or it might be. I don't know if the numbers are on the... I don't know. Anyway, uh, you guys can see the image there. That's the one. But I'm doing these last because... I'm going to show you in my other, in Fantasia, I have this whip that I'm, I'm going to try and work on. And I have a buddy color with Jen. We're doing this page, so I have that marked. This one I started um, a couple days ago. And so this one will be finished. I don't have much more to go. I might do a background, might not. But I have like the rest of his face and the leaves. I tried to do a video of this with you guys. And I couldn't get it to upload for the life of me. I don't know why. But it wouldn't upload. So I said, okay, never mind. It didn't work. So, And then this one also needs to be finished. So I have three in this Fantasia one that I need to do. So that's why the one in Irene... Those, are, those will be last because I need to finish the ones I have in there. And then in here I have, and this one is kind of big. I have um, a whip in here somewhere. Somewhere here. So I need to finish her. And then I have a page picked out. I have a couple. So I have this one picked out. I really want to do this one. So if anyone wants to do it with me, give me that motivation to to do it, that would be great. And also this one. And I know I won't get all these done this month, but just some options, um, you know. And I also kind of want to do this one. So if anyone, you know, has any one of those pages that they want to do with me, let me know um, down in the comments and we can make it a community color or... You guys can just uh, color with me. Or it, even if you want, I can um, have like a video. I can make a video of, you know, like a color and chat. We can do that if you guys want. So just let me know what you guys are, you know, thinking which one we should do. And then I ha also have other, you know, coloring books and things that I want to work on i want to do a couple more in match stick mouse the autumn book so if you want to do a color along in that let me know i want to do one in here i definitely need to do one in here because i want to try to finish this book so anything in any one of these books also is up for grabs for a color along or if anyone work, wants to work on the cake page in Joanna's book, that is also up for a color along. So just let me know what you guys want to see or if you guys want to do buddy colors down in the comments. That's cool too. But that's all I have for my finished pages for October. 
So I think I did like, um, maybe like, what was that? 12 pages. So it's not bad. That's pretty good for October. Um, November might be a little less because the pages I picked out are pretty detailed. So we'll see how November goes. We'll see. And if I, I mean, at the least I will show you what I have done for the hashtag, but if you know, I don't have enough of other pages. I'll just group those in with December and I'll make that one big video. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed my finished pages. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.